Hello, this week we've been thinking about what it means to worship God truly. Today we're thinking about obedience. I don't know how easily you find it to be obedient. I wonder how your driving is. Certainly I try to stick to the rules and the highway code and live driving a way in which takes care of other people on the road. But then I'm more, never very comfortable when there's a police car behind me or someone's watching me. In 1 Samuel chapter 15, Samuel challenges the king, King Saul. Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice and to heed is better than the fat of rams. Hmm, quite tough words and words probably, probably Saul didn't really enjoy hearing. But it's very easy I think for us to I don't know, to comp compartmentalise our worship of God and say that certain areas of our lives will honour him and others, that's a bit tougher. Well the good news is of course God forgives, he gives us a fresh start, he gives us his grace and that's, that's the best news and that's a reason you could argue for not worrying. But then there's a sense that we do need to examine ourselves as well, as, as well and be honest. I think actually what, what's honouring to God? Well, we honour God when we live, live by his rules. Live as if he was sitting next to us in the car. Live as if he was the person watching us about to cross the road and and watching us drive up, seeing if we're going to take care of his standards and his ways. It's quite hard to hear those words, but actually God delights in us when, when we are holy, when we follow his ways, and that's when our worship becomes true. In uh, Amos, there's some pretty challenging words where he says, I despise your religious festivals, your assemblies are a stench. Why? I love going to festivals like New Wine and being in a crowd worshipping God. I think actually there I'm doing something different, something which is of great delight to God. Why? Because true worship is when I'm singing from the core of my heart, but also I have Jesus as Lord of who I am, Lord of my life, and he, I'm seeking to obey him and walk his ways. Let's just take a moment now just to be still and just to examine ourselves and consider if our worship is really from the heart. Heavenly Father, you see every bit of us. You see our thoughts, you see our actions. And you see us as we try to honour you. May we be a holy nation. May we be a holy people. A people who want you to be throughout our lives, throughout our being and for that worship to stem from the core of who we are and to bubble out in praise. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.